How to treat and cure retropharyngeal abscess. A retropharyngeal abscess means you have pus in the tissue at the back of your throat. This often occurs during or after a throat infection. This type of abscess mostly occurs in children under 5. However, it can occur at any age. A retropharyngeal abscess can be life threatening if it blocks the passage of air to the lungs. Retropharyngeal abscess, RPA is an abscess located in the tissues in the back of the throat behind the posterior pharyngeal wall, the retropharyngeal space. Because RPAs typically occur in deep tissue, they are difficult to diagnose by physical examination alone. RPA is a relatively uncommon illness, and therefore may not receive early diagnosis in children presenting with stiff neck, malaise, difficulty swallowing, or other symptoms listed below. Early diagnosis is key, while a delay in diagnosis and treatment may lead to death. Parapharyngeal space communicates with retropharyngeal space and an infection of retropharyngeal space can pass down behind the esophagus into the mediastinum. RPAs can also occur in adults of any age. Causes RPA is usually caused by a bacterial infection originating from the nasopharynx, tonsils, sinuses, adenoids or middle ear. Any upper respiratory infection, URI, can be a cause. Serpa can also result from a direct infection due to penetrating injury or a foreign body. RPA can also be linked to young children who do not have adequate dental care or brush their teeth properly. Signs and Symptoms of Retropharyngeal Abscess The signs and symptoms of retropharyngeal abscess are Difficulty breathing. Difficulty swallowing. Drooling. Fever. Severe throat pain. Strider, a high-pitched wheezing during inhalation. Muscle spasms around the ribs when breathing. Signs and symptoms may include stiff neck, limited neck mobility or torticollis, some form of palpable neck pain, may be in front of the neck or around the Adam's apple, malaise, difficulty swallowing, fever. Strider, drooling, croup like cough or enlarged cervical lymph nodes. Any combination of these symptoms should arouse suspicion of RPA. Examination for retropharyngeal abscess. Throat culture. Complete blood count, CBC. X ray. Computed tomography, CT, scan. Treatment of retropharyngeal abscess. Treatment of the abscess may involve surgery to drain it and to prevent the airway from becoming blocked. Your doctor will also likely prescribe corticosteroids to decrease the inflammation and swelling. He or she may also administer intravenous, 4, high dose antibiotics to fight the infection. Potential complications of retropharyngeal abscess. In some instances, there may be complications from a retropharyngeal abscess including blocked airway, aspiration of a foreign object, usually food, into the airway or lungs, mediastinitis, inflammation of the space and tissue between the lungs, osteomyelitis, bone infection. With immediate care, you can avoid these complications and recover fully from a retropharyngeal abscess. Prevention of retropharyngeal abscess Proper medical treatment of any upper respiratory infections will prevent the development of a retropharyngeal abscess. Diagnosis A computed tomography CT, scan is the definitive diagnostic imaging test. X-ray of the neck often, 80% of the time, shows swelling of the retropharyngeal space in affected individuals. If the retropharyngeal space is more than half of the size of the C2 vertebra, it may indicate retropharyngeal abscess. Treatment RPAs frequently require surgical intervention. A tonsillectomy approach is typically used to access, drain the abscess, and the outcome is usually positive. Surgery in adults may be done without general anesthesia because there is a risk of abscess rupture during tracheal intubation. This could result in pus from the abscess aspirated into the lungs. In complex cases, an emergency tracheotomy may be required to prevent upper airway obstruction caused by edema in the neck. 
High-dose intravenous antibiotics are required in order to control the infection and reduce the size of the abscess prior to surgery. Chronic retropharyngeal abscess is usually secondary to tuberculosis and the patient needs to be started on anti-tubercular therapy as soon as possible.